The electron, the lightest charged elementary particle and the smallest magnet we know so far, with a large significance. For example, for checking hard drives, the magnetic storage systems become more and more compact while their storage capacity is continuously increasing and with it, the data density. How is it possible to reliably check the ever more densely packed data segments for errors? Using electron spin resonance spectroscopy, we face this challenge with two electrons that we embed into a diamond. Its strong atomic bonding allow the electrons to keep a stable spin orientation. This way we can examine the smallest structures, even at room temperature. To do this, we use a nitrogen atom to create a nitrogen vacancy centre inside the diamond. Two electrons of this nitrogen vacancy centre form a triplet state, which we can stimulate onto a higher energy level by using a green laser. They directly return to their ground states by emission of a photon, resulting in red light. With microwave radiation, we lift the electrons up into the degenerated state MS plus minus one. When exposing the electrons in this state to a green laser beam, they recombine back into the MS zero state. Here, they emit less red light. The diamond thus appears darker. We are able to measure this variation of the photoluminescence intensity. If a magnetic field is applied, a Zeeman effect occurs. The degenerated MS plus minus one states split into two distinct levels, which can be occupied through microwave stimulation. Two measurable resonance dips in photoluminescence occur. The stronger the magnetic field, the greater the splitting will be. By measuring the frequency of the double minima, we can determine the magnetic field strength. Two electrons therefore facilitate the detection of smallest magnetic fields and data structures, while making a diamond even more precious.